Hey scrappers, Moose here again. Um, Alright, so today I've got something that uh, I started a video on when I first started making YouTube videos about scrapping. Um, I had mentioned a, a tool that was very, very helpful for uh, getting every last bit of copper out of things, um, and that was the WSA Wire Stripper. It's from TNT Tooling. Um, it's, it's a little bit pricey, it's about 80 bucks, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely worth it. Um, Mike the Scrapper uses it, many other scrappers use it. Um, it's very easy to use, it's a high quality tool, and it, it makes getting every last bit of copper out of wire so easy, it, it's, it's almost insane. So I'm going to show you how this works. Alright, so all you really need is a vise, and what you're going to do is you're going to set your WSA wire stripper tool right in here, I'll lock it in, and then you have all of these different uh, size or gauges uh, of wire that you can run through there and it goes it gets pretty small um, so you take this is just a power cord from computer monitor you take your wire you stick it in and you just pull it right through and it's literally that simple and it'll cut that hard casing right off of there real easy and you just pull it all out Much better than having to use a, a utility knife. All right, and now you have these smaller gauged wires inside there. Some people don't bother with them. I bother with everything. So, just want to uh, get the wire untangled. Now, for this wire, the wire that was inside the power cable, there's three of these much smaller wires, and they're braided copper. Now, it's usually uh, a big pain to try and strip the wire with a braided um, but with this thing you just stick it through the smallest setting here goes right in and go through on the other side All right. there you go it separates quite easily now you just gotta pull it all out There you go. So all this copper coming out of that strip of wire much easier, much easier than trying to use a knife on your desk. Um, and it's bright wire. Alright, now how about degaussing cables from inside TVs? We all love those. There's all kinds of nice copper in there. A lot of times it's you know, bright wire. But we all hate dealing with all that tape that's wrapped around it. Well, with the WSA, very easy. Just slide it in. The WSA, you just slide it right in. Right. Pull it all the way through. So there you go, the tape is sliced perfectly. So all you gotta do now is just peel and it all comes right off. <coughs> See there it is. Isn't that so much easier? With all that freaking nasty sticky tape that they put in there. Comes right off. Look at that. Wrap that up. That is quick and easy. It's taking me a little bit longer because I gotta keep trying to stay in the in the camera's viewfinder here. But that's it. You know, real easy. And with the WSA, um, it comes with this little Allen wrench, so you can adjust the height on these things. So some of these, you know, it may be uh, a, a fairly small gauge. But you can actually drop the blade a little bit further so you can get even smaller wires. Um, it's extremely light and compact. It's very easy to, to take anywhere. These blades are really high quality. They're very sharp. Um, and WSA will sharpen them. Um, they, 
you just go on their uh, their website www.tnttooling.com and find out more information. Now there are other wire strippers like this on the market that look similar, but trust me, they're not the same. Uh, they're nowhere near the same quality. Uh, I've looked at them, and yeah, it's just no comparison. In one of my very first videos that I that I created, I mentioned that I don't. Uh, really sponsor or uh, promote any particular name brands or not that many anyway um, this is one of the very few tools that I do recommend um, it'll save you so much time and it will pay for itself very quickly um, especially if you're the type of person who just uh, throws out the power cords into the regular wire where you're getting you know a dollar a pound um, fairly quickly you'll be making more money USA is uh, it's made in Canada. Um, it's out in Jack the Scrapper land. That's it. Stop! Don't go anywhere. Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. Why do I want to know if you think I'm doing something great? I'm doing something bad. What I can do better? All comments are great. Make a suggestion what you want me to scrap next. And see you on the next video.